Good morning, Akansha. How are you? Hi, sir. I'm fine. How about you? I'm absolutely fine. Thank you. So, uh, Akansha, welcome to our channel, RD Automation Learning. And uh, we are you, so sir. glad to have you. And many, many congratulations to you for getting job in uh, multiple companies during this pandemic. Oh, sorry, during this recession time. You know, when hiring is getting freezed, you have got a job in various MNC companies. So, uh, yeah. Would you like to Thank tell you, us sir. something? Yeah. So, would you like to tell us something about that? Okay. Yes, sir. So, so sir, uh, I have I have been graduated in two thousand nineteen. Uh, so, I am working from past nearly three plus years, and I am working like I have experience in manual automation, regression, uh, these kind of testing, and like I have experience of automation in UI as well as of API. Both kind of uh, like testing I have like done, uh, both manual and automation in UI as well as API. and like uh, from past 3 to 4 months i am trying to give interviews and uh, like during this period i selected in three mncs and uh, like after that like i got package uh, from like six, i am having currently 5 to 6 and it is a switch to 10 to 12 nearly so i have three offers and i have to like see what happen next no wonderful so um... would you would you like to elaborate about your experience how many interview calls did you get how many companies mm-hmm. did you apply you know currently okay. as we were just talking there is a lot of uh, hiring freezes going on people are feeling mm-hmm. recession has started in india as well which has not but mm-hmm. still uh, you are getting offers so how many companies mm-hmm. you used to apply regularly how many interview mm-hmm. calls did those get converted into and okay yeah. Mm-hmm. so like i ha- like uh, uh, earlier i was trying through linkedin only and i got two three calls from linkedin like but from the same company and there's uh, those are of developer post which like i am not fit for the role but i give those interview just for like letting me know what where i stands but i didn't qualify those interview the developer one uh, later on i joined uh, nokri.com and i used to apply almost 50 jobs a day You know, on Nokri. dot com, that is the limit. And on LinkedIn, like I used to scroll ten to twelve minutes, and ten to twelve minutes, almost I tried to apply whatever I can. But uh, uh, what I can observe that I had already only got call from the like top rated MNCs, not from all. Like if we go to like MNCs which are like most like on top rated in America, American, those are, like do, I don't think they entertain us for the ninety days notice period because I am having ninety days notice period. So like. to get an offer or secure and secure an opportunity first we need to try to get call from any company which is ready to get 90 days notice period so i got call from 3 to 4 mncs which are of like which are of my like my like my field like automation and testing only not from developer end and uh, like on first interview i cleared all those three first round only Great. testing so, i cleared in first round hmm. okay so you got an opportunity for development role simultaneously you got an opportunity for testing role so why are... uh, developer yeah development i tried but like i didn't clear that interview okay okay i tried yeah i tried but i didn't clear okay. so in future also if you will get some development role uh, kind of an opportunity would you like to go for development or would you like to uh, stay with <laughs> no no i want to stay in like uh, from uh, like if we, if i see as a tester i can have like more opportunity if we are with testing team we are also with the product team we can go in product management role business analyst role and scrum and all those we can like try even like if our experience increases we can try in those roles also and if we see everyone is running through development like rushing towards development only If development increases, then what about automation? Development needs automation and testing. So I want to stick on my role only because automation is also having the same package, same range of package. What testing is having that I can observe, like my friend list. There are so many developers are there. I am only tester. <laughs> so both are having equal opportunity in the market. What I think, even testing is having much glorified. Like scope. Absolutely, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, Akansha, you have shared a few interview questions with us. So let me just yes, yes, share yes. my screen. Hmm. And, uh, yeah. So are these are these uh, questions visible to you? Ah uh, yes, yes, they are visible to me. Okay. Ah, uh, I have separated it according to API and UI, and then after that, normal testing question, and then few Java. Okay. Uh, these are API. These are UI. So these are Java related questions. Uh, from uh, regression testing, they are simple testing question, basic 
which can also be asked in manual testing yeah okay okay great so with respect to api testing interview questions you got uh, types of error code difference between post uh, and put yes yes, yes akansha you so if you would like to add any of the question if you are able to recall mm -hmm. please feel free to add mm -hmm. right or okay, you can okay. also walk us uh, through these questions yeah Mm -hmm. For the type of error code, like basically, I work on only five to six types of error code. That is four hundred, four zero two, and four zero three. Like, uh, should I explain those error code, or so that is enough? That's so on a high level, point. you can explain what answer okay, okay. did you give at that time. So the mm -hmm. people who are watching this video, if if they are not aware about these interview questions, they will come mm -hmm. to get this kind of answer as well. But in a very high okay. level, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just give a straightforward answer for the error codes one point to point. So like I started from two hundred, which is like when when you execute any request and it is success, then you will get two hundred in the postman, and uh, it can also be changed according to the demand of the uh, development team or uh, product code. Because if uh, like for us, if there is one error code two hundred one. Two zero one, which is also uh, straight to success, and for four zero three we have like four zero two, that is bad request, and four hundred uh, something bad with the services, or we try to access something which is not in our scope, and four zero three is also like we try to access something which is not. Like which is out of score, forbidden error. This is four zero three, and for five hundred, that is having some service issue or backend issue. We will get internal server error five hundred. And if we go to go to difference between put and post, so like there is a straightforward difference between put and post. Put is just to like post is if we create anything, like if we implement anything, then we use post. Like that is for creation. And if we want to make any enhancement in put, then we use. Uh, the enhancements in post then we use put simple straightforward one and there is also one patch request which is used uh, instead of put what i can recall recall but that is not asked to me but i know that thing okay. but like sometime it can be asked it can be patch asked. difference between yes yes definitely put and patch mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like next question is explain one of the example using Postman uh, Postman automation. So I just use my framework and I explain the whole from like I just took one one story easy one which can be understandable to the interviewer and I just explain the whole changes which I did as part of automation. Basically, they want to ask us whether we have already. But in one of my interview, I was just asked three questions only, and uh, that are very simple one. He asked me regression. He asked me then uh, like. what is your framework and then he asked me to explain it and then one code uh, they like these so he said in the end like th that was a 5 to 7 minute interview and i said like what happens are only these question then he said i just want to know uh, that whether you are truly genuinely working there or not so they just want to letting us know that why, like the things which we are explaining and taking example of our project are explained clearly or not like they are just testing us like whether we are truly working or just giving the fake fake experience so exam in example i just give one example from my like my project and explain this whole how the flow goes and we use excel sheet so how we can switch from one request to uh, one endpoint to another endpoint these are the questions which are asked after explaining the whole like when i explain the whole automation one example of automation then she asked me uh, how we can switch from one request to another Uh, from one endpoint to an another endpoint in the postman these are the questions uh, the next question how we can move so where there is one uh, like go to postman dot next request there is one command which make us move to the next request or redirect us to the net next request so basically they are just asking me whether i am honestly working there or just giving the fake experience uh, Hmm. then she asked me uh, how so to generate days, report hmm. yeah sorry to interrupt so these days there are people who have been using fake experience for getting jobs hmm. so they were just hmm. validating whether you have got the genuine basic experience or you are also faking hmm. like other candidates right ha uh, they yeah. like basically to, this is the main thing yeah yeah how to generate report ha how to generate report in postman like uh, she asked me how to generate xml like uh, html report in postman so there is one new means new means report uh, which is which, which we can use through cmd if we uh, run postman script through cmd we can generate it uh, the, this is what i know as part of my project if i am missing anything so you can add 
no no i think uh, you are going in the right direction yes no mm-hmm. issues yeah. so, like this is the like next thing and, and then if we go to you you mm-hmm. might testing related questions were there okay ha uh-huh. ha ui related questions so first question which is come to us is like this is the one <laughs> explain your whole framework and uh, like we have to set one example one scenario and explain our whole framework they used to ask like which which environment like which framework you are using how like step definition like i am using cucumber bbd framework so they asked me about uh, scenario what are examples how you write scenarios these are the things they used to ask explain your whole framework explain it well and uh, they also asked me what is step definition what is pom5 these are the things they asked me and uh, different types of scenarios like uh, a scenario outline is there in our framework scenario scenario outline given when then these things they ask us they ask me like how how you write scripts in those format like what you used and how will you import date uh, this i was unable to answer properly how will you import date using ui automation mm-hmm. so okay. in our framework uh, what i see uh, they they had written one certain code uh, to to import the date using dot format they are using data file to fetch it and then using one code and rest i don't know much in this date using date api no worry so in java actually there is a method there is a function available which will mm-hmm. help you to fetch exact date and time so pertaining to system date and time so that you can mm-hmm. use right mm-hmm. uh, at that time i was not that aware no worry and no. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then uh, uh, one question was asked to me how will you automate this scenario if you are having a digit number yet yeah, you can only enter it a digit number not more than that and alphabet not more than 11 so how will you automate this in like in our ui oh, sorry ui framework that on web driver io so i just uh, written two if statement and then like i just uh, like first store them in one variable i write try to uh, code uh, write code in java 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 so i just import those numeric and alphabetical op, uh, uh, like variable and then check their length and then check if they are more than 8 then it should uh, throw the error mm-hmm. like uh, like uh, uh, your number is more like more than 8 and alphabet is more than 10 i just simple write that code and so i got cleared in that yeah. i don't know whether it was right so i think the question means uh, if a number cannot have more than 8 digit and alphabet cannot have more than 10 okay mm-hmm. so okay so cannot have more than 8 digit so uh, so it means that uh, you need to write a program for a string any string you can take mm-hmm. string mm-hmm. or maybe alpha numeric uh, string is there and for the alphabets you will be following the if condition for 10 for if numeric mm-hmm. characters are there you will be following for eight digits so two mm-hmm. if conditions would be required one would be for alpha yes two if bet and one will be for numeric yes mm, right yes, i did this mm-hmm. then this is like in every interview this regression testing is like must ask question like mm-hmm. no one skip this question which i have observed regression testing is must ask question like if we uh, like if there are any changes in code and before deployment we just need to perform this testing to check whether any any like any flow doesn't interrupt the new changes it should work as per expected after any changes in the environment integration is testing is yeah mm-hmm. simple straight forward questions and their integration mm-hmm. load testing smoke testing mm-hmm. what procedure you mm-hmm. follow if you find a bug what is sdlc agile methodologies mm-hmm. right important bugs that you have found so which is the important uh-huh. bug that you have found so far recently we have find one bug like our application is like yesterday only uh, so our application is financial and uh, like if we want to like i am working in transferring amount like amount transfer mm-hmm. so like if we try to transfer amount from one bank to another bank it should not allow any any like alpha numeric al- special character like percentage these things in the digit mm-hmm. if we try to write um, alphabets in that uh, 
enter amount column it should not redirect to the next page mm -hmm. but the code is already in prod i don't know whether it this bug is in prod or not but okay. in our testing environment it is there like if we try to enter some percentage or like a dollar sign a dollar mm -hmm. sign in the amount field and we move to next page that is review page and then back to edit page like back to the amount page mm -hmm. then it used to throw some like it used to change the amount Amount okay, so like, amount is getting uh, amount, when you navigate uh, from one screen to another uh, screen. Okay, okay. Uh, so and one more thing, it should not even let us move to the next screen if we enter any special character. So this mm. is the bug which we find. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, great. Mm. And then these uh, Java related questions were asked to you. Oops, concepts. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. programming questions, time. exceptional handling, try catch, cloud computing. What is cloud mm. computing? Mm. What is cloud vendor? <laughs> Yeah, I just like don't know much about this. I just I, like I, even I didn't read after that interview. So uh, what I can recall at that time, I'm saying the same. Uh, cloud vendors, what I can recall, there are four or three types. Uh, one is S A A S I A A S. These are some terms. Even I don't recall their uh, full forms. I just tell those names. Mm -hmm. They are differentiated according to the uh, like few companies asked like they need fully set up the environment and want to work. So there is one type of cloud vendor which provide the fully set up environment. There is next type of environment uh, or uh, environment which is provided by uh, vendors are uh, in which they just give the framework and you use to implement according to your need. These are like what I can recall and what I have read for some years. Mm -hmm. Right. So let this be open question for the people who are watching this video. What do you mean mm -hmm. by cloud computing and which are the various cloud vendors available? I mm -hmm. think uh, they mm -hmm. might be interested in asking question related to clouds, like how will you perform testing in cloud yes. environment, right? So did yes, you get yes, that like no, 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 no. They, they like he was just uh, trying to ask me like about new technologies and what are you focusing on them or you are just working on your uh, like skill set only. So he was just trying to know that that point, mm -hmm. cloud and all those things. Okay, wonderful. So a uh, variety of questions you have got uh, in the interview, mm -hmm. right? And it is mm -hmm. good that you were able to recall all these questions. Uh, and mm -hmm. clear the interview. Now, what was your mm -hmm. preparation strategy? You would be doing job in your current company, right? So mm -hmm. it is a hectic schedule over there. You have to test so many things. And then uh, mm -hmm. simultaneously, you have to keep on applying. You just mentioned you apply for 50 jobs every day, right? Mm -hmm. So how was your preparation? So, like Mm -hmm. uh, first thing I think like it is very difficult to get call like if you get call this is one of the like best opportunity and you you have to utilize with the best of your efforts when you are ready then only you should apply because some companies have policy like if they give you call then they will not uh, call you again to up to certain one month two months like these are certain policies of the company I don't know I'm not much aware so uh, like what I think if someone is genuinely working then he would or she would definitely will able to answer these all questions and like uh, we should go to our, all the frameworks like if you are working in api then you should go the whole framework of your api write some notes on that like uh, prepare one like first i used to prepare what what to say like an uh, interviewer definitely will ask about your project so write it in a clear manner and read it once or twice before giving the interview because that is the initial part and if you are very clear on that then you are like half cleared in the interview what i can think and uh, like two frameworks your ui and your api like write the write those things in a proper manner and explain like very clearly in front of examiner that will also be a very good impact to your like uh, your profile and examiner will definitely think over it and questions will come only from those things your frameworks ui framework api framework they will ask from those only so like i just did one like write one or two page in my on my ui framework one or two page on my api framework and explain those very clearly so this is my strategy and rest i just like used to scroll on youtube and just take what are the interview questions companies are asking like this is one in one interview we are giving and there are so many interviews on uh, youtube so i just go through those interview and try to find what are the questions and just read those questions this is my strategy and they didn't ask us anything which we are not working on probably they will ask all the questions which we are facing if we have generally experience in the automation and 
SQL. Yeah, I think that is a proper strategy. If you are clear mm -hmm. with your fundamentals, with your basic, mm -hmm. with what you are doing eight hours every day, right? You are mm -hmm. sitting in the office, you mm -hmm. are uh, mm -hmm. doing so much of hard work in the existing frameworks. If you are able to mm -hmm. explain the same things in the interview, mm -hmm. I think that is halfway clear. And then mm -hmm. uh, this is also a good thing that you can go through the YouTube videos and see what are the experiences mm -hmm. done by the other people, what kind of questions yes, they have got. Mm -hmm. so that is uh, truly good. Mm -hmm. You were mentioning about mm -hmm. uh, Nokri account. You applied from Nokri account as well. Did mm -hmm. you purchase mm -hmm. a premium uh, subscription? No, no, no. Uh, till now, I didn't use any premium. And I don't think you need a premium. Your profile should be premium. That is good enough. Okay. Uh, I have seen one interview of one lady. I don't recall her name. She Shraddha or something else. She said my like profile is like having so many different different things. So my pro like what I can learn from her is your profile should be premium. That will always lead to your success. Absolutely. Yeah. Premium. Like few of my friends are using, but I don't know whether they are having any benefit on me. But I got a call from simple accounts. Both are my simple, not premium. So whichever calls you have got, you received from Nokri only. Mm -hmm. And no updating? referrals. Okay, great. Were you no updating? Uh, were you updating your resume every day on LinkedIn? No, 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 no. Uh, on LinkedIn, Not I didn't. Nokri, Nokri. Nokri dot. Ha. No, no, I didn't. But few people advise me to update your resume daily on the daily basis. What mm -hmm. I can think, if you go and. Uh, apply through career website na, then it would impact more because from nokri.com i applied so many i didn't quite call i just get called from those mncs and i applied in that i don't recall exactly but i applied uh, like the my linkedin or whether nokri.com any profile is direct, redirecting me to that their career page career page only so mm. they're through their career page absolutely linkedin i think according to me linkedin is better Mm -hmm. no worries okay now what should be the length of your uh, resume what should be the length of the cv some people are telling three to four pages some people are telling one page according to you how much uh, 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 i think uh, like for me it is two pages and just mention your skill on the top which examiner is looking forward like just mention those on the first page even the top of the first page, like after four or five lines you can write your skills which examiner is like sorry which uh, interviewer is looking forward for so that is the best strategy they don't have much time they will receive millions of like like even thousand of profiles and they just have to sell it so try to write uh, try to go to the like job description and if you don't have even that like, skill just mention there if you want to give interview and have those experience you can just mention those skills and at least you should have you would have a get, get a call and you will try to check what they are asking and like, get in touch with those things if right. you want to have interview so you can enhance your resume okay so you mean to say you we need to update our resume before applying to the job based on the job descriptions mm -hmm. that we get from uh -huh. the uh -huh. Absolutely. But I didn't perform this like mm -hmm. uh, like I uh, I applied on the companies which are matching with my profile because later on I will feel burdened there if even if I get selected mm -hmm. I will feel like uh, because okay. after three years of experience they are expecting us to do some work definitely definitely yeah absolutely mm -hmm. okay so thank you so much uh, Akansha for uh, sharing your interview experience with us and once again mm -hmm. uh, congratulations to you for getting you, jobs in uh, various companies, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we are done with the uh, questions. Do uh, you have anything to add on or share with the community, with the people out there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, people who think testing is like not good. <laughs> I just want to say like testing is also having good opportunity and like where there is development, there should be testing and uh, just go with the pace and there's people who don't have like much coding skills, they can really have great future in this testing mm -hmm. so that's all. don't yeah. underestimate testers <laughs> yes yes absolutely no one should underestimate uh, the yeah. tester right okay mm -hmm. so thank you so much akansha and uh, mm -hmm. all the best for your career and uh, okay, wish sir. you thank you. good luck uh, for your career ahead mm -hmm. yeah thank you uh, thank you sir thank you oh, okay so bye thank you